this. Okay, so hi everyone. Good morning and welcome back. In today's class. Today we are on the day number 17. And we were discussing. About the. Workflows and the flows. OK. So yesterday we created what I can say. A workflow and we see that how this thing can be added. And we did our part on that particular part, creating a adding approval and adding a task. Now it is a time to test that particular stuff that how it will work. So to do that part, let come back here. Yes, OK. And now I'll open this. Maintain items. OK. I search my. Item. And click here. And now. We will go to the process engine. We'll go to the process engine and in the workflow we will add our workflow name and what was our workflow name is LNG. This one. So now. These two has been. Empty and only one can be done. And I save it. Because yesterday we created we publish. Now we have to be just add that in the particular item. Question can be there Atul. Can we add one workflow in the multiple items? Yes, we can add that. We can. Add that. OK. So. But again, we have to be think. That. Is it useful to create one workflow to add multiple items? The business case is yes. OK. Business case be yes, maybe. For a laptop, for a desktop, for a mobile phone. OK, same workflow can be required. Go to the managers, managers approval and create X, Y, Z task. OK. So which is there? Now the thing is that if this is with there. So. And, and also. There's a question came in one of the interview to me that how you can optimize the catalog items. There was a 50 catalog items uh, a customer having and they want to optimize it. OK, so to optimize that. We can create variable sets. We can create one workflow. To use that part. And also if we can do a little bit more changes on the item level, maybe give a good choices and all. OK, then we can do that part. Now as we created this workflow yesterday, let's test this part so that you should know or we, we came to know that it is working fine or not. OK. So I'll come here 135 and LNG. I request something. ITSM techno. Because I'm not using any any kind of variable, so we can just quickly put yes or no and we can move forward. And Click on the accept request. Done. Now let's 
take this and come here and open this. OK, this is here. This is my RATM. Now the question come if you see. There is a approver has been added. And name is Eric. Can anybody tell me that from where this is becoming? You, you added it in the workflow, right? No. Figuring it? We we edit batch 13, not Eric. And you Eric is not part of the batch 13. No, right. Then how it's becoming? Then how it's becoming? This is homework for you guys to find out. Because this is something is in service now. And you can get it if you go to the workflows. Go to workflow and see. Then you will find out that why this Eric name is coming. So now what I'll do, I'll approve on Eric behalf. And I approved OK. Till now our workflow did not attach. If you see because our workflow say number one is on the RTM level. Number two. It is for the best 30. And now you can see. Here our. Approval get attached. And now anybody from this batch can approve. Now I'll, I'll show you one thing we discuss on the on the portal part, right? Let's say now I log in with Arnav. I impersonate with Arnav. Just to show you that if I am approver, how I can see this thing on the portal. OK, and I'll refresh this page. And now you can see I log in as Arnav and I can see approval is there. Click on this. Click on this. So being an approver, you can approve from the portal as well. Being an approver, you can approve from the portal as well. So I click on the approve. And now if I impersonate and impersonation and back to my admin account, OK. And if you open that. And if you come back here. You can see stage is fulfillment and now task get created. Our task. Open it. This is what we have addressed in the task. And I'll say, huh, here three things are important to be understood. Closed. Complete. Complete. And if you see mainly these three. Complete, incomplete and skip. These three states has a very major impact on the life cycle of a request. In Arnab invited me at his home. I will come for the dinner. I said, OK, I reached by 6.37 o'clock. 
we had a tea initially then he served soup and little bit starter then around 8:30 he served the main course and while returning he give me some written gift and i come back in this case this complete activity is marked as a complete because he served everything what he prepared what he created he served to me okay he served to me what is incomplete okay incomplete means he invited me he offered tea and the snacks and before he set up for the dinner or the main course i got a call and i have to be go back in this case this particular task is marked as the incomplete but what will happen to the request what do you think what should be happen to the request it may be paused how it can be passed yeah. so this there is a sequence like if you see remember yesterday we say req ritm and sa task but when it come to the closer part first we close the task and then ritm get closed automatically and then request get closed automatically so if one of the activities incomplete complete request will be considered as a incomplete if you want to see let me open this and open this because in our workflow we did not design everything it is very high level but if you see here it is marked as a close incomplete do one thing for the practice use the catalog item this one laptop or mobile phone it will get five six tasks in a sequence first time complete all task second time complete three task skip two task and the third time complete three task and incomplete the fourth task and see what happened to the request and the ritm and everything has been driven via workflow only so if you see incomplete because arnab invited me for the dinner if tomorrow elisa ask hey how was the dinner with atul sorry it did, it, it did not happen completely because he has to be go for some urgent work then it means my ritm did not mark as a complete because the activity was not happen but in the skip case it's not the case arnab invited me he offer a tea i said okay he offer a snacks i said okay now he want to offer me a soup i said no and a soup is not required we'll go for the main course directly so i'm skipping it skipping doesn't mean that it is incomplete skipping means this particular step is no required at point of time right yes sir understood right so this is important here that complete incomplete and skip has a very major impact on the ritm and the request so creation happen in this sequence closing happen in this sequence and we will we only close the task 
RATM and requests get closed automatically, but we have to be set in our workflows. That is important. So now if I mark this as a complete here, where is my task? This one. If I mark as a complete and put as a save, my task get closed, but there's a nothing will happen to my request now because I did not set in my workflow that what should happen with my RITM. So what I want to you guys to do now, go here, workflow, Not designer. Workflow editor. And go here and search for the request. And see this. One, two. This. Check this. What they are telling, what they are saying here. If you open it, if you click like this, it will nothing do. Nothing will open for you mainly. So you can see only this thing and it is tough to be understand. But if you checked out, then you can see. But only one person can check out at a one given point of time, not everybody. So open and see what is be happening. So like if I say this, if price is 1000, OK. What is be happening? Only this thing, nothing they are checking now. Set value. Set like this. This is important for you to be understand that what is be there. OK. Clear this point. And you will understand this thing only once when you create your own workflows. And when you go and see the other workflows as well, like this. Like this. Then you will come to know that what to do and what not to do. Now I'll take the second part, which is called the flow designer. We will do the same work again, but with the flow designer. You can open the flow designer from here itself, or you can go here and search for the flow designer here itself. This is advanced number one. Coming with multiple new options and easy to do. Like in the workflow, we have to be remember the table name as well, but here it is be not required. The page you are able to see here. This has been updated in the Vancouver release. Latest release earlier only up to this page was there. But now in the Vancouver service now added these two as well. This as well that what I'm working. And. The other recent activities I have done, and if you want to go for the documentation, you can go for this part. Now in these three things are important. So, the flow and action. Flow means that something which work end to end. 
I'll give an example. Let's say we want to make a cup of tea. OK, good. We want to make a cup of tea. What is the complete process or the flow to make a cup of tea? Atul, we have to take water. You have to take utensils, put the water, boil it, then put the tea bags, sugar, then boil it, then put the milk, boil it, then put in the cups and serve it. This is a complete flow. But this flow has a many subflows as well. Like how to boil the water. Switch on the gas. And put the temperature 40 or 50 degree. On the gas stove. Wait for 10 minutes. So that it, it is fully boiled. OK. Milk is the second part. So subflow itself is a flow. But they are the small pieces which we can call in any sub in any flow as well. Now either you want to make a coffee either you want to make a tea. Boiling water flow will be always same. And what is the meaning of the action? Action means what to do. What to do? As soon as record record get created. I want to do this thing. This is what the action. Now customers are using the flow. Because it is more helpful for the integration as well. Third party integrations. You can see this option. These options are newly added in the Vancouver. I want to see only the work done by me. I can put a filter. I want to see everybody work. OK. Now let's create a <coughs> flow. Name. LNG. Best 30. OK. <laughs> you can description you can put. Want to put application scoping. You can put protection. You want to make it read only? I said no, because I have to be changed it as it. Run as when this work, when this flow should be run. User who initiate the session or system user means as soon as any user triggers something, it should start. Or system user means. Maybe I am doing some kind of a integration or some kind of a schedule job with the help of the flow. Then I'll put the system user. So generally we use user who initiate the session. And you can put it here that who has a role to initiate. I said anybody can initiate. And I click on the submit. Purple, one question. Um, sure. Well, are you going to put system user if if you want to use this for integration? Yes, we can put. I mean, um, the option that you cho chose just now, hmm. will that work for integration also or will that not work for integration? For integration, it works. Sometimes what happened like, I yeah. want to schedule a job for the midnight. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Then right. nobody, nobody's sitting in the system to be switch on that job, right? Right, right, right. Then we can use the system users. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, if you see, for a flow, two things are required. Trigger and action. Trigger means when this must be started. Now in the workflow, what we have done? We put it the name or the table name request item. But here the trigger is so simple. You want to create this or sorry, not create. You want to be attach this particular workflow. Sorry, flow. When any record get created, update it or credit updated both. Daily schedule, daily, weekly, monthly runs once. No, no, I want it should be run on the catalog, service catalog. Or like if I say created 
on which table the record should created or get created. Incident change problem request user table which table. So for our purpose, you can you can put the table name here as well SC underscore REQ underscore RITM. But why you want to use that when service now giving me the functionality to use the trigger automatically? So we will use catalog. Service catalog. You have worked done. If you want to see the advanced option, you can see some. Where to run the workflow? In the background or in the foreground? By default, we keep it as a background only. That it should run in the background. And done. What this indicate? That as soon as any catalog item get created, any service cat, not item basically, any service catalog get created, this must trigger. This workflow must trigger. Like as soon as you hear the fire alarm, you had to be back at the building. Either someone's doing testing, either someone doing playing with alarm, that doesn't matter to you. Only matter is. As soon as the fire alarm get trigger, everybody have to vacate the house. This is a trigger point. This is called data pill. Sorry, ah, data pill. It is very important. Maybe you, you can say, well, what is this? This all these records are there. No, it is very important. Now, what you want to do? You want to create an action. You want to get a flow logic or you want to create a subflow. What this mean? When I click on the action means. Do you want to trigger something? Do you sorry not? Do you want to create something like you want to create a task? You want to send an email? You want to update any record? And these are the. Stuff which is given by service now. Like this. I can create a task. I can delete a record. I can create a record as well. So let's say like this, create a record. On this table, create a score user. I'm, I did not try this part. Let's let's try a little bit new. Sys underscore user. OK. And what field should be there? It should say. First name. Hello. And. User ID. LNG hello. Done. Atul Tika Yeto Hogya. I want to add an approval. For this, let's see. Go to action again and search here. Do we have anything call the approval as well? Yes, ask for the approval. But if you do this thing, then you have to do a lot of work as well. Because service now say that approval is one of the tech, one of the step in the flow or the workflow that every customer need. General practice what happened that if Adna want to take home, sorry, want to take leave, he raises a leave request and who will approve? His manager. If Eliza want to take a leave, who is approved? Eliza's manager. Then why a user or why am I customer need to be write this code again and again? So for this, I am going to use subflow, but I am putting a homework for you. You try the approval from the ask for approval. Click on the subflow and now you can put it here. And see two approvals type given by service or number one. Request item department head 
or request at a manager approval. I said manager's approval. This. But before that, let me do one. Let me tell you one thing. Go to the user table or let's go here. Profile. OK. And. Mm -hmm. View and default. Do we have the manager here? See, we don't have manager. So let configure. Form layout. And manager. If there is a no record exists of the manager, if manager has no value, then how approval will be triggered? Right? So I am setting up the manager's name here. Here and I'm putting Arnav name. Okay. So that our workflow should work properly. Not workflow flow should work. So now it says, OK, this is a sub sub flow. It means all the all the coding that which record, sorry, which table, how to get the manager's name. It has been written in this particular part. But now the question that on which record this particular approval must trigger. This must trigger on the RITM. Right? Right? So now you have two things. Either you can writing like this, but these are the previous one. Maybe if Eliza create a record, the number come like 10,001. Or we Sahil create a record, the number comes 7001. So how I can get the numbers on the runtime? Drag. Not this one, sorry. Ha. Drag and drop. Your work done. What we did? We says a record which has been created in this part the approval must be tagged here approval must be tagged here and click on the done let me come back here question i know you are confused so put your questions Clear everybody, Sahil, Arnav, and Eliza. Yeah, let, let's just go ahead with this example. Let's just create one okay. and see how, how it yeah, works. Okay. Now approval has been triggered. Okay. Approval has been triggered. Now what next? Either manage will manager will approve, either manager will reject system don't know i have to tell to the system so what i will do i will put a flow logic if let's say what we are saying if approval sorry if record get approved then do this thing then create a task but if approval get rejected life cycle khatam correct what you say right yes yes so instead of mentioning the what i can say if instead of mentioning approval part better i'll put the rejection this what this mean that if the approval trigger on this ritm get rejected is true matlab if rejection is true then what to do 
and and the logic right? is then here then flow logic and the flow kahani khatam right the end right same thing we did yesterday as well in the workflow if approved if rejected then end atul take rejection ka to ho gaya but what about the approve that's fine if approved it means what you want to do i want to create a task okay go to again subflow and mention catalog sorry and mention task and create a here kangya create a catalog task not child update user let me see in the action sorry not subflow i'll go to the action create catalog task what is the difference between create catalog task and create task get ready for the friday test okay get ready for the friday task friday test so create catalog task or we'll say catalog okay no need to be worry already there table name is already there on which item you want to create i said the item uh, on this rtm create on this rtm okay Atul, if you want to drag and drop from here only, then what is these two things? Let me tell you. This is called the coding part. If you want to write some script, you can write it. Or this is called the data pill picker. Means it will open something for you and take you the previous steps. That where you want to create a task. I want to create a task. on the record which get created and that is ratm this one so you can drag and drop and you can do this as well if you create five workflows and if you create two flows you will come to know that atul workflow is not good now flow is very much good short description say hello to the you want to add fields you can add you want to wait again same thing which is happening in the flow designer you want to put some templates something you can use or you want to use some variables which we have in our this one this calto or yes or no you can do that part and click on the done what we created yesterday same thing has been created here but now i want to show you some more magic stuff here in the workflows we have stages atul that you did not tell us and it is tough to understand this part right and now tough na from where it is be going yeah so click on this this feature has been added by service now in the Tokyo release the diagrammatic view of the flow. Wow, that's nice. And you can download this as well. This is one of the feedback which I gave in one of the session, and they take it it. So it is downloaded now, and you can share with your customers as well. Easy to understand. but still we are we are developers we are human being we are not satisfied with this part 
Atul, in this case, if I want to make any change, I have to be go back here. No need. You can do it here as well. What you want to do? See. This thing. This stages has been added in the Utah release. Maybe you have a question in your mind. Atul, come on. Why you are telling these releases? Because when you appear for the interview, it can be asked to you. That what are the features in Vancouver? What are the features in Utah release? You want to add any flow? You can add it. See. I'm a consultant. I don't like all these things. This view I don't like. I want the program dynamic view. That's nice. This way. And here you can set the stages. If approved, then stage. Because we don't have any stage available. So I can put my new stage. Maybe I can say fulfillment. You can put the value and all the things will be there. Done. Atul, is it recommended to put your own stage or should we use Not the... it's yeah. a it's like a customization. So better we use the out of the box only. Yeah. Okay. okay, then you put all this details and all the things will be there. Okay. I'm not sure that why I'm not getting that out of the box stages. Otherwise, it must show the out of the box stages as well to me. Yeah. Okay. Now let's save this. Workflow we cannot test in the background, but flow we can test in the background. How? Click on the test. Which record was there? Let's say what was our previous record? Number 14, right? Four. Four, sorry. This one. Run test. Why? Why you want to go and create a new catalog item? You already have a catalog item and you can do it here. Oh, your test has been finished. Come on, how this possible? See. Waiting. Completed. Waiting. Achha. Let's see what happened. Why it's be waiting? Let's see. Okay. Type no logs. Not done. Waiting. Let's go back to this request. Open this record. Okay, I know already approved, so that is the reason it's creating a problem here. Achha, nahi na yaar. How this will work? Because in the item level, we have we don't have this item, nahi, but it should it should work actually. Why it's not working here? Let's do one thing. Let cancel this test and activate this. Then now come back here and search for the maintain items. What is our item name? ITS. Yes. And here change it. LNG patch 30. Same. Let's go back and reload this page. Catalog. Categories. This. And this. And submit. Request. Number five, open it.
come back here. This is your part. You have to find out. I'm telling you very seriously. Get ready for the Friday test, and nobody will take a leave. RATM. Now we are on the RATM. Are you? Why no approval? Come on. Flow context. Oh, I have to be set some property for this. Why our flow is not working? Okay, username. Header. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Where is our flow? It is not working. Something wrong. Is this trigger is wrong? Let me see. Come here and let's see. Maybe, maybe we have a wrong trigger. Request. Service catalog. No, trigger to say yeah, Mara. Then why? Why our is Arnab is admin that right? Arnab is admin. Open. Let me see. Do we have anything else? Oh. Maybe we have an approval on some other record. Let, let's see. Neither, either be any approval. Come on, how this possible? No approval is getting attached. And nothing is there. This is our flow. Because when we tested it, even it did not, it stuck on the trigger point, but now it must be trigger. Published global LNG patch 13. Let's do again on the number five. Run test. Error while inserting during OK. It fails somewhere this during insert of this user. Hello. OK, user ID must be a single word. Correct. So now let's come here. Deactivate. And come here, create user. And let's put. LNG dot hello and first name is hello. This is what we are right. It's gone. Okay, let's do it now. Let's try and test same record again. I guess stuck. See. This has been completed now. Now let's see in the user record. See. Record get created. Now if I go and refresh this. Hope it should it should work now. Nay, are we being other? Why? No approval, it's been triggering. Why?
why it has been stuck anybody has any idea open waiting so did you put any group manager approval at all i mean or is or, or was it just the line manager it's a manager approval so what i did i in the admin i in the admin sorry if i go here अरे यार क्या नाम है इसका दिस वन आई यूज राइट सिस्टम एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर सो आई पुट यू अर्नव एज अ मैनेजर नेम सो प्रैक्टिकली इट मस्ट ट्रिगर इट इफ इट इज नॉट रीडिंग इट मीन समथिंग रॉन्ग इन दिस प्रोफाइल इट सेल्फ Yeah. Let try to do one thing. Open record, and let's put. And now what we'll do? We will remove this step, guys. Reason being because if we again run this workflow, sorry, if we again this flow. and it will try to create a user with the same user id it will again fail because it will give the duplicate error right right so let do one thing create a user and remove this just create with the first name hello we will work for the same activate and now i will impersonate as arnav then we'll see that it is going to sail or not and create a new request and don't worry these things happen very commonly when we do the practice practical it happens so now i can see see here it is showing arnav your name but why it is not showing at that place that is my question yeah strange it it means our workflow is working very much fine because it's showing here right mm -hmm. right so let's try to create one catalog <clears throat> request Yeah. Okay. Approval, Eric. That's fine. let me refresh maybe it's get there only nahi no, okay open this yes now it's going see it's going to sign and if you want to see let's open the user account as well just to see our work has been done or not it was the first name with hello right see 656 means our workflow is working fine now come here and once sahil approved task will get created automatically scroll down 
and task is there. So our flow is working as expected now. Maybe there was some issue that it was not showing on that particular part. But now it has been proved that it is working as expected. Clear everybody? Let me yes. come here. Sahil and Eliza. All clear. Yeah. Good. So now what you have to be do? And I'm again repeating these words because this is very much important, guys. See, we just create a very simple example and we stuck. So you have to be do the practice and how to do the practice. First, see what are available out of the box. These one. Go and read which has been written the request. That how they're setting the stages, how they're setting up the state status, all the things. And then build your own. And I'm telling you, don't build very fancy or very heavy workflows or the flows. Build a small, 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 small flows. And see, is it working fine or not? You will not believe it is the first time I added something extra in the my flow designer. Let's get a user account. Otherwise, I never add something new. I do a simple one. This is I added something new. If you want, you can create action and notification. We did not we did not done that part, but you can do this thing. Send email, send SMS. So these are the spokes. Means these are the pre-built code has been given by service now to us to use for our work. And with this, our 90% work on this request item has been completed. Only 5% has been or 10% has been left. That is called the catalog builder. That we will complete in the first 15 minutes in tomorrow's session. OK, everybody. OK, Apple. so we have done. This and we have done. These few things OK with the record producer, but call it will it will complete tomorrow. We have record producer as well with this we will complete it tomorrow. OK, any last question before I stop the recording guys? No, OK, good. Let me take attendance.